Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It's never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, it is Monday, the 18th of November, 2024. Where the hell has this year gone? What a wild year it's been in crypto, that's for sure. Banking coins were freaking pumping over the weekend. It's nuts. Uh, again, XRP is up 7% today, which is wild. I mean, look at this. Hedera's up 34% in 24 hours, 111% in seven days. Wow. Stellar's up 125% in seven days, 20% today. Banking coins. Anyway, there's a lot to go through with that. I mean, it's incredible. You need to follow real world utility. Um, of course, we've got a lot of updates in relation to, of course, you know, President Trump. Uh, we've got Spot Bitcoin ETF news. We've got RFK or again, Rob Kennedy, or I should say Robert F. Kennedy, a junior, uh, again, pushing for Bitcoin as well. There are updates on X and also Earn Curve is doing incredibly well. As of today, we have 318 people on the wait list. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that, guys. Um also, again, I'm in talks with seed funders and venture capital firms. Uh, that is all well and truly underway. The app is being built. Uh, there is a lot to go through. Now, again, I just want to make a point, uh, uh, sorry, a, an update in regards to Apple and iOS. Uh, they did pull the uh, pre-application off the App Store, which is annoying, pending some adjustments with the developer's account. Um, so that will be back up and running soon. Uh, I had to do a lot of stuff in the back end, guys, with the, in regards to the uh, developer's account to make sure that everybody's information is secure, which of course it is. So I'm just letting everyone know that that may not be visible on the App Store, but it's well and truly uh, being worked on at the moment because, again, they pulled it last night or what, yesterday, I think it was, from the App Store, which is annoying. But anyway, it's not going to stop me. Uh, and again, that will be back up and running soon. That's just some... Uh, regulatory stuff there with the app store. So I'll get that back up and running. Um, now, a lot of donations coming through as well for Earn Curve. Thank you so much. You guys freaking rock. Uh, it's all happening right now. And again, the folder <laughs> is it's getting big. Look at it. It's getting big. No BS. All right. I'm doing a lot of stuff with compliance, uh, the licensing requirements as well. It's huge. And by the way, uh, Got some eyeballs from big, uh, big names in the finance world as well, I should say. So it's all happening uh, and I'm really excited about it. So if you have not gone to join the wait list, go join up. Let's see if we can get this to 400 people on the wait list, which I think we you know, definitely will. Put it this way, it's going to be so much better to do this than it is to invest in real estate. No BS. I don't care what anyone says. I've been in real estate for about 15 years, so I'm well and truly qualified to say that. This is going to be better than uh, investing in real estate. All right. Anyway, let's get into the video, guys. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see on my channel, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are just getting nuts in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything, it's down there. Thank you very much, you guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff, right? I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose, all right? Now, let's get into the video, guys, because there's a lot to get through today, all right? All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into the community tab. And if you scroll down, top old coins in my portfolio today were Casper, Solana, Loopring, and Kin. Very, very nice. And we do have XRP's market cap going freaking parabolic right now, which is unbelievable. This is just the freaking beginning. The XRP army knew about this. And again, it's all because today is the 18th of November resigning Mr. Gary Gensler. Again, will submit his resignation 
Let's see what happens tonight. If he leaves, look out. XRP is going to go absolutely parabolic. I mean, look at that. I mean, over the weekend, yesterday, it was up 29%, nearly 30% in a day. Absolutely mind-blowing, right? Coming over to coin market cap, we do have a market cap for $3 trillion, bull market territory. We do have $152 billion in volume, uh, which is interesting. Dominance for Bitcoin is at 58.9. Ethereum is at 12.2%, which is nice to see that because I can't wait for Ethereum to be flipped. I'm serious, right? Now, coming over here, let's go to, of course, the prices. Bitcoin's currently trading at $91,719. That is insane. Ethereum's at $3,116. Uh, let's have a look here by market cap, actually. Solana's at $242, US which is insane. XRP's at $1.15. So it's no longer a stable coin. <laughs> Just saying. It's up 7%, which is nice. Uh, moving down, of course, we've got 88.76 cents. I'm going to go over the banking coins. Sui's at $3.76. Scrolling down as well, XLM, 24 cents. Hedera at 11 cents, up 37%. That is freaking wild. That is absolutely wild. Uh, and of course, I've got my other ones down here as well, like XDC and WorldCoin, $2.30 for WorldCoin. Quant is at $88, up 7% as well. Where is XDC, by the way? I haven't even looked at that for a while, but that was freaking pumping over the weekend, guys. XDC was. Anyway, moving on. Let's get to this. Earn Curve. Yes, this is my investing app, guys. If you haven't gone to join the waitlist, go join up, guys. It would really mean a lot to me. Just put your name, your last name, your email, your phone number in there. And of course, if you can donate to this, please feel free to do that. If not, it's totally cool. Uh, I'm only asking for that because it helps me out a lot. And of course, all of those funds are purely being used to build out my application. And uh, still a lot of it's uh, being pending at the moment because there's been a lot of negotiations with regards to building the app, all right? So paperwork, licensing staff, regulatory staff, just a lot of registrations. It's wild. I, I can't even begin to explain how crazy it's been uh, and a learning experience. It's been absolutely awesome. But anyway, guys, go join up to earncurveinvest.com. Now, again, I did do a video on the channel uh, for my trading bots. They, they, they're working incredibly well, guys. And I mean, I did open a long position on Bitcoin, uh, which is still there open. I'm currently at 902 USDT in profits, up 252%. Ridiculous. And I did enter at 73,000 USDT and Bitcoin's currently trading at 91. So let's see what happens. Michael Saylor did say it's not going back down to 60K, so that's pretty good. Link for bot dollar cost averaging bots. Again, in the video description, go join the Wall Street Boy University for three commas. Moving on to the news. XRP records its highest weekly close in three years after surging past $1. That is insane. And again, XRP saw its highest weekly close in three years as bullish momentum swells on the XRP ledger ecosystem amid the broader market consolidation, which saw Bitcoin break 93K XRP defined the prevailing momentum with the six largest crypto by market cap surging a whopping 105% in the past seven days to finally cross a dollar, <laughs> which again, it's going to go a lot higher than that. XRP's bullish upswing also ensured it overtook Dogecoin in the crypto rankings after a price upsurge from the meme coin saw the Trump, the asset earlier in the month. Notably, XRP now trades at a market cap above $65 billion, its largest in three freaking years. Thank you. And uh, hopefully, we do see Gary Gensler. I'm just going to actually look up what's going on there now because uh, I just didn't bring that up before. He's uh, basically going to be ending his term. So rumor has it right here, Chair Gary Gensler unlikely to finish term as President-elect Trump basically removes him to step down after Thanksgiving. Let's see what happens with that, ladies and gents. <clears throat> now again, President Trump unlocked $800 billion for the US crypto industry. And okay, this is crazy, but this is Brad Garlinghouse saying this. And uh, obviously you can see right here, Cardano, Solana, XRP, the I, again, golden era. This is gonna be insane. Shortly after, again, before Trump was officially announced, 
the next president of the United States on November 6th, the entire market started to heat up. Bitcoin rallied to a new all-time high of 93K on the 14th of November in the proximity of this psychological $100,000 level. That will happen. Again, the optimism comes from investors who believe that Trump's administration is favorable to crypto and other policies, such as reducing the corporate tax rate from 21% to 15%. Brad Garlinghouse said this wave of optimism has contributed to $800 billion in the US crypto market. Ripple CEO predicts Trump for crypto boom. And again, this was Fox Business. Garlinghouse was optimistic about Trump's presidency and again, what it might mean for the companies in the digital asset space. The CEO noted that this new development signaled a change for the so-called war against crypto, a time categorized by harsh crackdowns by regulatory authorities, such as Gary Gensler. So he's going to be gone. That's insane. Moving on, we do have spot Bitcoin ETFs now control over 5% of Bitcoin's total supply. They are chewing up what's left of Bitcoin, guys, on the open market. I haven't got there yet, but it's coming. So just bear that in mind, all right? Now, again, we do have Robert Kennedy, again, pushing for Bitcoin as a stabilizer for the US economy, which is pretty interesting as well. And another well-known crypto industry, Wyoming Senator Cynthia Loomis, has also recently advocated for the U.S. Bitcoin Strategic Reserve and proposed some innovative approaches by the asset without impacting the national budget. Again, this is going to be huge. If they put Bitcoin in the uh, reserve, this is going to drive prices well over 150K, in my opinion. Again, well and truly. Rob F. Kennedy, again, once attracted the attention of his outspoken support for Bitcoin, he referred to the crypto as the currency of freedom in a recent online post. Bring it on. Anyway, guys, moving on. This is going to be a quick video. Let's have a look at this. Elon Musk and the banana zone. Go watch Raul Power's video because it's fascinating. That is the banana zone right there. And again, yes, Bitcoin was pumping earlier. I want to play this interview with Brad Garlinghouse. Have a listen to this. Let me just pause it for a second because my volume is off. One sec, guys. Have a listen to Brad. Yeah, so what's affecting the price of XRP has been the SEC. People forget, frankly, before the SEC got involved in the crypto markets, XRP was the second most valuable digital asset ahead of ETH. And then the SEC got involved and said, hey, we think ETH is probably okay, and ETH went up. And then they sued Ripple, and XRP went down. You know, this is not how our government is supposed to work. We're supposed to have a level playing field and have you know, equal opportunity. We shouldn't have our government picking winners and losers in this regard. We think in the long run, we'll prevail and you know, that, that'll sort itself out. But for now, it's frustrating for the community. And I like the way you characterize it for the XRP family. Do you think? There you go. It has been very frustrating, Brad, but we're getting there, mate. It's starting to turn really positive. Have a listen to Michael Saylor right here. Look at this. Pulling out a Bitcoin ETF, custody of the Bank of Shanghai, you would say, that's great. That's going to give access to Bitcoin to 1.5 billion people in China. Okay. And they're going to buy a bunch of Bitcoin. The price of Bitcoin is going to go up to $10 million coin. So here's the question. Do you want the billion people in China to be rich? And do you want to be rich while the Chinese government still has a bunch of laws that you may or may not agree with? Or do you want the people in China to be poor and you to be poor while the Chinese government has a set of laws that you don't agree with? Pretty easy. Or do you think that you're so great, you're Superman, that you can just go and topple the entire government by barking on Twitter? There you go. Anyway... Moving on again, yes, the um, the squirrel uh, that's pretty full on with Bitcoin as well. And yeah, this is the PL I forgot to show you guys. That's November as well. So again, you can see the profits that it's making. Look at that. So I'm not really worried about the uh, monthly f or the week, the monthly fee, really. Look at that. That's insane. Go join up the Wall Street Point University, guys. Anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay bullish, dollar cost average, and do your own research and join Earn Curve Invest, all right? Because the app is going to be incredibly bullish. Go join up, all right? Peace out, bulls. Bye.